So everyone says we're going to Mars in 10 years, but what are we going to eat on the way? Anthony here for DNews, and over 100,000 people applied to be a part of the Mars One mission. That means one way or another, those people applied to die in space. Godspeed, you pioneers. I would go with you if I could bring my dog. We know that the Mars mission is going to be rough living. Harsh conditions, danger at every turn. But what about the food? Space food is historically not great. It started out as tubes of protein puree and has ended up as some lovely freeze-dried, irradiated snacks and meals. Space food is tricky because scientists have to worry about nutritional content, ability to be reconstituted, how long it'll last, how much space it'll take up, whether it'll break apart. Trace did a whole video about it. Check it out. It's kind of awesome. But here's the deal. Space food is made for the short term. Missions that last a couple weeks bring all their own food up and the space station gets supply drops. A mission like Mars One spends a year getting to the planet and then another year or two getting reliable terraforming and food production going. So what are they going to eat? NASA has been wondering the same thing. So they commissioned the University of Hawaii and Cornell University to get their top chef on and figure out some healthy, long lasting, and hopefully delicious meals. After a rigorous application process, six people were chosen for the high seas mission to live in isolation on a faux Mars colony on a Hawaiian lava field for four months and just to figure out what's gonna go on the Martian menu. The high seas site even asked for community recipe submissions and got ideas like spicy veggie rolls made with reconstituted spinach and quinoa and Cajun jambalaya made from rehydrated onions and celery and a lot of spam. Spam was real big on the mission because spam lasts through anything. Also, they were in Hawaii. So what's the best food they've found? Soups seem to go over well with the team really digging on mushroom and wild rice stew, borscht and seafood chowder, which makes sense because they're easy to store and they're easy to make. It also mixes the fresh and freeze dried ingredients together, which masks how weird, rubbery and tasteless reconstituted chicken must be. Which leads to the most important recommendation the team made. If you're gonna go to Mars, be sure you pack a lot of sriracha, like, a lot, because the team says an essential part of any Mars mission is going to be spices and hot sauce. When you're eating a lot of rehydrated stuff, you're gonna need it for flavor. Even more so in space, where your bodily fluids flow differently and clog your sinuses and puff up your face, which makes your sense of taste less sensitive. You can find all the recipes on the High Seas site, along with crew blogs and details about the other research they did. Cool stuff, like simulating daylight and using robots as companions. You know, the more I read about it, the more I'm happy to give up my potential spot on that first mission. I'll go to Mars when they get their first ramen place. You know, we should pick a couple of these and try them out. Let us know what we should make down below and subscribe for more D News.